Today we're making chicken pot pie on Emmett's Cafe. I got a brand new kitchen. Again! The first step is we're going to bring our chicken stock to a boil. We're using two quarts of chicken stock. Our chicken stock is almost at a boil. The next thing we're going to pour our vegetables in. We're going to boil that in the chicken stock for 15 minutes. We want to make sure we get all our vegetables covered. Get in there, you little vegetable. C-U-I-S-I-N-A-R-T. What does that spell? Cuisinart. If you want to sample some free stuff, you know how to reach me. Thanks, Cuisinart. Now I got the super awesome glove and I get by myself. It <laughs> kind of looks like an alligator. Chop, chop. <laughs> Safety first in Evans Cafe. We're going to strain our vegetables out of the chicken stock. We're going to dump our chicken on top of our vegetables. We'll put this aside while we make our roux. We have a stick and a half of butter and we're going to dump it in. Once it starts to melt, we're going to dump our onions in there. We have one whole finely chopped onion. We're going to cook our onions until they get translucent. Now we're going to add the flour. And now we're going to stir that for three minutes until it thickens up. If you want to make a roux, you got to keep stirring. This looks like some kind of goo that a science freaker would make. Now we're going to add our stock. A little extra flavor to the recipe. I got this Corona Surprise. Mm. We're gonna pour our roux on top of our chicken and vegetable mixture. Man, those carrots really make that roux pick. We're gonna, we wanna mix it up. We're gonna add our special spices, nutmeg and thyme. Now we're gonna mix it in real good. We're gonna put our mixture into two small baking dishes. Now we're gonna make biscuits from scratch. Biscuits with a crust really makes a good pot pie. First we had all our dry ingredients. We have two and two third cups of flour. And to that we're gonna add three teaspoons double active baking powder. Two, three. We're gonna add one teaspoon of baking soda. We're going to add one teaspoon of salt. Now I'm going to eat all the salt. Now we're going to add our butter and shortening. Let me know. That's taking every ounce of self-control that I have. Do not eat this butter. Because man, I don't eat this butter. You want to get this butter and you want to squeeze it good. We're going to add our freshly grated cheese. Through the magic of editing, I've turned this glass bowl into a metal bowl. Now you're just going to have to imagine the ingredients. Now we're going to add our eggs to our buttermilk. Now we're going to whisk them around. Now we're going to add this to our dry milk goods. Now we're going to use our hands and mix that together. Ew. Gross alert. <laughs> Gross. It's <laughs> definitely gross, everyone. <laughs> Mixing this together with your hands. I would never describe the food as gross. But I would describe the mixing as gross. We, you want to scrape the sides, you want to scrape the bottom. You have to find all the hidden pockets of the dry stuff. I rolled out my dough flat. And now we're going to use the cutter to make the biscuits. We're going to preheat our oven to 450. I made an egg wash of eggs and milk, and I'm going to brush it on top of the biscuits. Poking little holes in these biscuits to let the steam out while it cooks. Because we don't want a biscuit explosion. Biscuit explosion is also the name of my band. We're going to bake for 20 to 25 minutes at 450 degrees.
Thank you for watching another episode of Eric's Cafe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.